Um, I haven't done like a sit down video in a really long time and I just kind of want to talk, you know, I'm just in a talky mood. I feel like every time I do like an update video of just like talking about my life or anything like that, it somehow doesn't end up on the internet. And I think it's because A, I cry, B, I somehow delete it and I forget that I deleted it. I, God like doesn't want me to film. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know like where to start. Um, I feel like I should start with my love life because I feel like every time I do an update video or I try to, I talk about my love life and then I make, oh, a commitment to myself and how I'm going to say that I need to focus on myself and then I find a guy and then the guy doesn't like me and it just, it's the endless cycle. It's just an endless cycle. Okay, let's start about 2019 so far. 2019 so far has been pretty hard. So I started 2015 liking this guy and he was just not a relationship type of person. He wasn't a hoe or anything like that. Like he wasn't just like always talking to like a whole bunch of girls and leading them on and then not wanting a relationship. It wasn't like that. He just didn't like really, she doesn't like relationships because he's been hurt so many times. He told me that in like the end of January, I stopped liking him. Uh, or no, I didn't stop. I like officially stopped liking him. Like I officially like moved on from him until like March, April, somewhere around there. And I kept that up for maybe like two months, which is not a long time at all. Then May started and I felt very pressured to get into a relationship because I didn't really even know my feelings. And when I started dating him, I didn't know my feelings. And it just like kind of backfired and I really just like wasn't into it. I don't know, I just really like wasn't into it. Like I didn't feel a connection. I didn't feel like I could be myself. And it was just kind of like a toxic relationship. It was just not good. So I had to cut it out. So then right after that, my life was literally perfect. Like <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. My life was so good. Like I had the best friends ever. I went dogs, I was dog sitting all the time. Like my friend, like we got like a new friend group and just everything was literally perfect. Like there was like no problems at all. I wasn't thinking about guys like at all. I wasn't like hitting any of them up. It was just such a good time in my life. And that was for like maybe two weeks. And then I caught feelings <laughs> all of a sudden for the same guy that I liked in January. And it was so <laughs> toxic. The whole time I was thinking, he doesn't want a relationship ever. And then one night we were just like talking and he was just like, you know what? Like, whatever, like, frick it. Like, we'll just do it, like, whatever. This is where things turn around and I get super attached, but we weren't dating. We weren't dating at all because like I was at a point where like I was ready to date him because again, like with the last relationship that I had, it was super toxic because I wasn't ready to be in a relationship. I wasn't, I didn't have enough time, <sighs> whatever. And, like mo I moved on way too quick and it was just like, all of a sudden things just started going left and they were just like not going right. And I knew that something was up and I like talked to him about it and he just like kind of like reassured me that there's nothing going on, everything was all right. And then two days later he ends things with me and he's like, I don't want a relationship. And it only ended up hurting me in the end. That's where I'm at right now. So, okay. So the guy that I liked in January and the guy that I liked through 
that had a thing with like it was definitely it was definitely like more than a thing but we weren't official we ended up being like really good friends like he was like one of my best guy friends and then this happened and it just kind of I don't know I still talk to him he's still like my friend it's been a month since he ended things with me and I'm still like so like like I don't know I feel like I'm still being a pussy about it you know like I just it's weird because we weren't actually dating like we didn't date like we weren't like official so I can't be like oh yeah like he was my boyfriend but he wasn't my boyfriend he was more than a friend but not my boyfriend it was just like really complicated i guess the the reason that it's so hard to move on is because a it didn't bring us closer it brought us farther away b i was i honestly was the one that was like we shouldn't be friends because like i don't know if i could do that and it's gonna be really hard and he was he was the one that was like no we have to stay friends like I still want you in my life and blah, 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 blah. I don't know where my love life is going is what I'm saying. Because I don't, I can't like, I don't know. I don't want him out of my life. Here's the thing is I don't regret doing any of that stuff. I don't regret liking him again. <laughs> um, I regret getting so attached. I do this to myself. <laughs> every time is I I get too attached I get too attached I get too attached to people that's the thing I get too attached to people and I end up caring about them way too much like way more than anyone should care for anyone is what I do so and it always freaking backfires it always backfires no matter what it always backfires every time and it, it's, i'm not <sighs> i just don't know how to move on everyone's like oh it takes time which i get and like when sarah was going through her bad breakup i kept telling her it takes time because it does because this is honestly this is like the second relationship that i have like gotten my heart broken but this was like the worst one and i literally don't understand why i think it's because when i was in seventh grade and i dated a guy for two months and i really really liked him i don't think i i knew like what relationships were so if i didn't get way too attached like it took i'm oh it just bothers me so much because i'm so good at moving on like i moved on from him the first time like like that like like i was like good you know <laughs> And I don't know why, it's just, I just don't know. Maybe, okay, so I was listening to David Dobrik's podcast because I do that every morning. I hate how I take a sip of my coffee in the middle of a sentence because when I edit, I like, I get so frustrated. I'm like, what the heck are you doing? I was listening to David Dobrik's podcast and Jason was like, honestly, the best way to move on is to move on to someone else. And I don't have anyone else. I can't even, I mean, I just don't want to, okay. I don't want to force things, you know? So this is, this, okay. And I think the reason that I didn't like the guy that I dated was because I was forced. So I don't want to force anything, but I need to move on. And I feel like the only way that I can move on is to talk to someone. And I have no one, like, <laughs> I just, I don't know, I give up. Miranda, my friend, told me that I shouldn't force anything because if you force something, it's not good. Like, it just never works out. Like, it just never works out for me, especially right now. Like, I don't need anything to be forced, but I don't know how to the freak to move on. I'm just in a big pickle, you know? It's not like I want a boyfriend right now. It's not like that. It's just like, I'm always wondering, like, ooh, like, ooh, is there someone out there that likes me? Ooh, is, like, who is it? Like, oh, like, 
who oh you know and i i here's the thing is like i don't want to talk to people about it because every time i do i just feel like it's just like the same problem over oh it's the guy like that's the guy oh yeah he's the same problem over and so i keep like talking about it and talking about it i just feel like everyone's tired of it and everyone's tired like you need to like move on like i'm tired I'm tired of the fact that I need to move on and other people are like tired of the fact that like I'm like like still like crying about it you know because we didn't date we didn't date like it wasn't a breakup because ugh, no relationship was broken and I think another thing is like I didn't get closure I hate boys I really do okay I don't okay I know that there are nice boys out there Trust me, I know there are nice boys. And I thought he was a nice boy. And he probably is. But it's just like, boys this age, like, I literally can't deal with. Like, I really can't. They're all just, like, horny chihuahuas, like, going everywhere. Or they're too freaking sensitive. Like, there's, like, no in between, you know? Like, I, <laughs> I literally can't. So, a while ago, I made this list of, like everything that I look for in a guy and like my dream guy I'm not desperate you know if I was desperate I wouldn't have broken up with the guy that I was with I'm not desperate and I have standards okay and so it was like because I watched this video on law of attraction and I do believe in it and I sure I'm sure that it will come and I thought that <laughs> the guy that I had a thing with for a month would like fit those but it was talking it was like oh like it didn't it didn't say like oh like everything has to be matched but it was just basically saying to write down a list of things of your like dream guy so i did and so it was like blue eyes blonde hair kind a gentleman shows love into music passionate I don't even remember really nothing happened like there's literally no one like i just i <laughs> i've given up on the list because no one fits it like no guy could ever fit the list because it's just crazy <laughs> that's my life right now that's where i'm at and so i mean i guess that's it like that's everything that's on my mind that's my little update i want to do like more like sit down videos like with my coffee Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you can. Follow on my socials and turn on the post my notifications. Bye guys.